Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional this Wednesday. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, we've been talking about discipleship the past few weeks, and I'm going to continue that with another reading from Dallas Willard today. He says, When Jesus walked among humankind, there was a certain simplicity to being a disciple. Primarily, it meant to go with him in an attitude of study, obedience, and imitation. There were no correspondence courses. One knew exactly what to do and what it would cost. Simon Peter exclaimed, Look, we've left everything and followed you. Family and occupations were deserted for long periods to go with Jesus as he walked from place to place, announcing, showing, and explaining the governance of God. Disciples had to be with him and learn how to do what he did. Imagine doing that today. How would family members, employers, and co-workers react to such abandonment? Probably they would conclude that we did not care much for them, or even for ourselves. Didn't Zebedee think this as he watched his two sons desert the family business to keep company with Jesus? Ask any father in a similar situation. So when Jesus observed that one must forsake all the dearest things, insofar as that was necessary to accompany him, he stated a simple fact. It was the only possible doorway to discipleship. So saints, last week we looked at how discipleship has changed in the church over the centuries, how it began as something that was a primary focus for the church and now is not necessarily so. Uh, but today we focus on what our personal discipleship looks like and how that has changed. Uh, when Jesus walked the earth, being his disciple meant walking with him, meant going where he went, watching what he did and, and doing what he did. And you had to be physically present with Jesus to really be his disciple. That also meant that you had to leave behind the things that you were doing and the things that were important to you. Uh, many of his disciples left behind jobs, left behind family connections, left behind their, their home and their comfort. And, and that was something they had to give up and to sacrifice in order to get closer to him. Nowadays, we don't have Jesus physically present. That's simply not an option for us to go where he is. But we have him spiritually present and we have uh, him in the idealistic sense. We know who he is through the gospels, through the, through the scriptures. We know what he did, what he cared about. And growing closer to him as disciples means doing those things. Maybe without abandoning what we are already doing, but maybe reshaping the way that we do it. You know, maybe we don't have to leave our jobs. We don't have to quit our jobs in order to follow Jesus, but we do have to quit certain attitudes and habits at our jobs. Maybe our, our focus on career goals and, and success that the rest of the world is, is chasing after, we might need to set some of that aside to follow Jesus better, to honor him better as we work. Or maybe we don't need to abandon our families in the way those early disciples did, but we do need to abandon certain priorities within the family structure. Maybe we need to let go of, of letting our extracurricular activities and our family trips and, and all the, the fun stuff, maybe we need to let go of, of letting that govern our calendars and our lives together as family. Maybe we should focus more on how we grow in faith together, how we serve God together. What would you need to let go of or put aside in order to follow Jesus better? It's going to be different for every person, but I think it's worth thinking about. You know, in some places, in some situations, people have had to quit the life that they were engaged in in order to follow Jesus. For us, it might be a lot uh, finer a point of what it is that we need to quit or let go. But that's your devotional this week. I hope it's something worth thinking about, and I hope that you are doing well and staying healthy. I'll be praying for you, saints. Please keep praying for me, and I'll see y'all again soon. Take care.